Sweeney, thank you. We'll check back in with you. The damage all startling, but the one building that's just been... The brick building. It is gone yeah. all the way down to the foundation. And you think about the debris, those bricks flying through the air. Yeah. Uh, really just a scary situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe of, of all of this, outside of the individual lives that are being dramatically impacted in Rocky Mountain and other places around our state, one that will impact so many people is what we are seeing right now on the border with Tennessee on the interstate. Yeah, I-40, we are hearing, it has been closed down. I mean, obviously a big section of that, with, that we deal with with commerce and, and traveling, especially the big trucks going through that area, transporting supplies. Let's check back in with WRL's Brian Schrader in the Live Center with any updates that you're hearing. Brian? I-40 washed away, according to the DOT, because of a mudslide. WBIR-TV in Knoxville is reporting that the eastbound side of I-40 has washed away into the Pigeon River just inside the North Carolina-Tennessee line on the North Carolina side. I want to show you what it looks like over on the Tennessee side. This is video from just a couple of hours ago on I-40 at the Pigeon River. This is just a few miles from the North Carolina-Tennessee border. Pictures from, uh, video rather, from the Tennessee Department of Transportation. And you can see where that river is pushing up against the bottom of the bridge there. Also wanted to show you what it looks like in Hendersonville. This is a picture from the North Carolina Department of Transportation. This is US 64 and you can see the water rushing over the road there. A lot is going on in Tennessee just over the North Carolina border and we have so many people who have interest in the mountains. You're also going to be interested in what's happening so close by along uh, the, the state border. Downtown Newport, Tennessee in the past 30 minutes is being ordered to be a evacuated because Walters Dam in Haywood County, North Carolina has suffered a catastrophic failure. So they are scrambling now to get people out of the way. Also in the Bristol area, Irwin, Tennessee, there's a hospital there. They're dealing with flooding and at last check, more than 50 people were on the roof and they are trying to rescue those people because the waters have risen so quickly there in Irwin, Tennessee. My goodness, just so dramatic. Wow. It, it really all is so dramatic. Uh, WR's Grace Haber, uh, again, in Rocky Mountain.